Hi there guys, Kate back here, welcome to my channel. Today we are visiting Zug. Zug is the largest town and capital of Swiss continent of Zug, located in central Switzerland overlooking Lake Zug and Alpine mountains. Interesting fact about its name, it originated from fishing vocabulary. In the Middle Ages it referred to its right to pull fishing nets, or otherwise the right to fish, to something super positive for the fishermen. Zug today is a low-tax region, attracting a large number of multinational enterprises here. Study related to quality of life, Zug is rated among the highest in Switzerland. It is a town that is best known for its agricultural product of Kirsch, and Kirsch is a cherry-based brandy. Zug is equally loved by its residents and tourists. It's particularly beautiful when the sun sets. The horizon lights up, creating a wealth of colors over the water. It has a magnificent old town, high quality of life, views of Rigi and Pilatus, and international flavor, making it all together a jewel of Switzerland. I earlier pointed out the cherry brandy. So Zug is actually proud to be known as Cherry Canton. Numerous cherry-related customs, traditions are celebrated in town every year, and did the whole region has the same traditions. Cherry walks are very, very popular, for example. Your visit to town of Tsuk would be incomplete without a delightful taste of local cherry cake. Lovers of Tsuk cherry cake have included such Hollywood stars as Audrey Hepburn and Charlie Chaplin. So if you are into cherries, then you should definitely try it here. Zug was founded roughly in early 13th century by Counts of Kaiburg. The 52-meter-height sitter that you can see right now also dates back to this period. Initially, it was built as a simple gateway in the old town wall. Over the century, how it was expanded, its height increased until it's attained its form that we can see today. In 1574, the great clock was built into it, giving the tower its present name Zittern, or the Time Tower. Under the main clock, you can also see the astronomical timepiece with four hands, indicating the week, the phase of the moon, the month, as well as whether the current year is leap year. On the edge of the old town, there's Zug Castle. It is the oldest preserved building in Zug and is a landmark of the city. Zug Castle has been a home to Cultural History Museum of Zug since 1983. The castle itself dates back to 12th century, although the first signs of settlement are actually even older. Based on archaeological findings, there are 26 different building phases from 8th century all the way to 20th century. That's why the castle style itself looks a little bit all over the place. This is St. Oswald Church. It is located on the outer old town of Zug, and it was built in 1477. It forms the largest and most important sacred building in Zug. On 18th of May in 1478, the people of Zug, under the direction of Hans Felder, laid the foundation stone to the late Gothic church that we see today. This is actually the richest canton in Switzerland. Figures from 2016 suggest that purchasing power of residents of Zug is more than one half times of the Swiss average. And Swiss average is really high. So how did that happen exactly? Well, historically speaking, Zug was actually quite poor. 
So from rags to riches would describe Zug fairly well. It used to be a land of struggling farmers. However, in 1950s the situation started to change drastically, when cantonal government decided to implement low tax rates almost immediately bringing wealth and prosperity to the region. For such a small town, shockingly perhaps, real estate here would cost you an arm and a leg. Knowing the prices here, I would throw in a kidney or two as well. Take a stroll through the old town, enjoy the many shops and restaurants, try that famous cherry cake. Uh, it is served in almost every coffee shop here. Check out the traditional handcraft, such as embroidery and wood carvings, and experience firsthand how century-old traditions sit side by side with modern lifestyles. At the end of the 15th century, the town of Tzu came into a certain amount of wealth when Swiss became victorious in Burgundian wars. They came away with a sizable abundance of spoils. Hence, they had enough to construct a fancy town hall in the late Gothic style. Construction took place from 1505 to 1509. You can see it right now. The ground floor was once the market hall. Over the years, the first and second floors were adapted to the present use as council chambers and courthouse. Even though Switzerland is undoubtedly expensive, a lot of things are free here. Many sites are free, there are many public beaches, and there are abundance of those in Zug. And there is a wonderful bird center, like the one you see right now. They had owls, and I adore them. I don't think there are any birds that are more beautiful than owls. There are many other exotic birds that I never even heard about, and all of that experience is free of charge. So enjoy! This bird center is very close to the downtown, so you cannot miss it. All right, my dear friends, so this would be all for our journey in Sook. I hope you enjoyed it and information was useful. If you like the video, please put the like. It's always very nice to have it. Uh, if you enjoyed the content, consider subscribing. I try to post every week and see you again soon.